Alrighty, so we've been here for about an hour and a half. Yep. And I have figured out what is wrong, but we did a little bit of troubleshooting because the techs here, uh, super nice guys that came out, they took a look and they're like, I don't think it's gonna be the caliper, but uh, you are way out of adjustment, which for sure we were. And I think we were because the caliper had gone bad. <laughs> so this is the old caliper and, uh, and you can see there's a, there's a cable that comes up to the front as you pull this. On the other side, it pulls this guy, right? So um, if we look at the pad material, there's not a lot of pad left. So that is definitely a factor. Uh, and I do think it was a little out of balance and I'm gonna adjust mine as well. And uh, I'm gonna grab another set of calipers as well uh, because um, it, we tried to adjust it, just would not get right. It just did not want to play nice. Um, so uh, removing these calipers is not too difficult. And I'll show you how to do that. Um, but the funny thing is, is that if you want a set of brake pads, just the inner pads, which are easy enough to replace, 13 bucks. How much is a caliper, you ask? 20. That comes with the brake pads. <laughs> with the brake pads. So why wouldn't you? And it's probably easier to replace the caliper than to take the brake pads out and replace the brake pads. Yeah, so yeah. Well. So two bolts to replace this whole thing. Uh, pop those off, replace them, uh, versus trying to get that whole pin assembly and all of that in here. But uh, anyways, we're moving right along now that we know what's what. And I tried to adjust and adjust and adjust, um, but I'll show you what the front removal looks like. And it's, it's identical for the back. Um, and I feel good. I feel good knowing that I'm not crazy. And uh, for sure, this, this thing is just, it's all sorts of wonky. Um, yeah, just all sorts of wonky. So let's uh, let's take a look at the front. Also, I might add, uh, our friends here <laughs> have mentioned how nasty Emma's bike is. But we do need to give it a wash more than once in its life. <laughs> I don't think it's ever it's been. It's been twice. I I wiped it down at work twice, but it could use a good bath. Maybe we take it to the brown bear and just give her a little spray down. Yeah, yeah. The chain the chain is squeaky. I mentioned that earlier. Um, and we actually we oil the chain probably once every two to three weeks. I want to say. Um, uh, it should be more. It definitely should be more. So that is, uh, that is something to know. But anyways, let's get to this. So here's the front caliper. And this one's actually going to be a little easier than the rear because we have these, uh, <laughs> these plastic guards back here that we don't have here. So we've got this bolt here. And you can see how that, that holds in. And then the lower, yeah, lower bolt there. Um, also, if you've never seen how you can carry kids on a rad wagon, that's fun. But yeah, so we got these two bolts and then we'll remove her. All right, these are some long bolts here, but uh, this is one bolt here. Oh, and there's that second bolt. Should come right out of there. It wants to, it wants to stay attached, doesn't it? Come on out. Anyways, this is the, uh, the whole assembly. Um, so, so once you loosen this guy up, the cable just slips right through and our cable's starting to fray. Uh, but I've learned these are an easy, easy replacement. So we are slowly learning to DIY everything. <laughs> okay, but we'll go ahead and separate this. Eventually, we'll separate this. Ah, there we go. A little rubber ring there. We'll get our replacement here. Pretty, and if we look at the front, oh yeah, the difference in brake, the brake pad material there, big difference. This cable is so shredded, and it's uh, it's just looking so bad. I'm just gonna go ahead and replace. Uh, just a cable, I think is fine. Go ahead, just go ahead and replace that, I think, and we should. I've already loosened this part up. Should be able to just slip it right on through. There we go. All right, loosen this guy up a little bit, move things around. We can get that out of there. It just notches in like this. We can pull our cable through. And I've never actually done this, but based on the last mechanics, bike mechanics uh, description, really isn't too bad. Now you might ask, why the heck are you doing this? Why not just leave the bike? One, we have no way to get back to Redmond and I'm not paying for an Uber. Like that's ridiculous. And two, I actually kind of enjoy the learning experience. Uh, if you can fix things on the roadside, uh, you're just much more adept. So why not? All right, this is uh, all the way down there. 
Oh, this is an extra long cable, so we'll have to snip this as well. Uh, yeah, let's reattach. There we go. And thread that in. Come on, buddy. Oh. It does help to have a <laughs> nice clean bike, but and a bike stand would be cool, but that's all right. It'd be cool if we had one in the bay that would like swing out. A toy hauler. A toy hauler is what we need. And then we could, yeah, we don't need. Oh no, oh no, 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 not no. Need. We are not cutting, cutting uh, Bailey's butt open either. Ew, that does sound weird, doesn't it? Yeah. All right. Could build one right there in that back area though. Um, or a little cargo trailer uh, mm -hmm. down the road, especially once we're like boondocking, you know, out in the actual boonies. So everything that I'm doing breaks in five millimeter. And uh, we're borrowing a, a nice long, good long Allen wrench here because I don't, I don't have our longer wrenches. And uh, yeah, this is, this is a cinch. We'll do some fine tuning on this. Let me just get this snugged up. Though. Okay, that should be good. So now that I've got this slip through, got it taut here. Um, we need to center the adjustment. So all I'm going to do is just pull this caliper and it's automatically going to want to be in the center here, which is great. So I'll tighten that guy up on the top. Get that in place. Come back in here, tighten on the bottom. Decently snug and now we can go back in. And... Get it good and snug there. That's better. That way they don't just adjust on us again. This worked perfectly for the back one. I'm sure some bike mechanic somewhere is going to be like, what the heck are you doing? Don't do that. You're an idiot. Follow that guy's advice. Don't follow mine. <laughs> this is working though for us. So, okay, we've got that. And now on the back here, you can actually, you can see the silver screw, hopefully. Uh, this screw is another five millimeter uh, Allen key. And we want to go ahead and tighten this down until it's just barely rubbing on here and then back it off uh, just one click. Tighten her all the way down. Oh, that, that is not going anywhere. <laughs> you can tell already. So let me back it off one. And we'll lift the wheel. Still rubbing just a little bit. Go back in here. Off one more. Free spinning. Ooh, I actually still hear just a slight bit of rubbing. All right, one more. No rubbing at all, perfect. And now the last adjustment that we can make, because I know that I have this barrel connector right here. I have this all the way down. I have this barrel, uh, it's a connector, it's an adjustment. I have this barrel adjustment all the way down. And I know that this cable is gonna loosen up. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna actually adjust this so there's a little more tension on this. Uh, just by loosening, I'm gonna pull the cable and then tighten it back down and see how this feels because right now we can go all the way to the back and we don't want that. Just loosen that up a little bit. So let's get that a little bit tighter. We'll move it down here. That's probably too much, but let's see how it feels. And then we need to snip the excess cable. Let me adjust that one more time because as this cable seated it loosened up you guys can see that all right so we'll go ahead and tighten her down just a little bit more okay perfect all right all right so that's good and tight and you know that might be a little that might be a little too tight because i want a little bit more play than that so we'll just do we'll just do exactly the opposite. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some tension on the cable. A little bit loose, a little tiny bit looser. Push that guy back. Alright, now how does she feel? Well, that's a little better. And I know this cable is going to stretch. Moving freely. Oh yeah. Oh, that, that is perfect. 
That is great. That's really great. So we just need to sniff this, fill up our tires, and then I'm gonna do a very slight adjustment on my brakes as well. And then we will hit the road and uh, go explore Seattle. Just a few more minutes. All right, so you got two new calipers, two new brake pads, a new brake line, and what else? And I got a new seat. A new seat. I got comfort gel seat. Comfort gel. It does is, it? It is black, not brown, so it doesn't match the rest of all my soft material. So that's okay. Nope. But it's uh, we're doing all right though. So I I took another look at that dang. Oop. So I took another look at the Rad Rover Six Plus, and uh, very enticing. Very enticing. Again, shout out to Bailey. Uh, shout out to Bailey. Very cool. Uh, we did. Oh no. Oh no. We did uh, charge up our uh, batteries as well. So we're back to five bars. Plenty enough juice to get us back. Really nice. Oh boy. Oh, a very boutique shop. Interesting. All right, you guys know the deal. Back in Ballard, we're going to get pizza, mod pizza, and we'll finish charging our batteries there. <laughs> I mean, we did make it to Seattle with three bars to go, so we'd be more than able to get back, but maybe we'll cruise through uh, downtown and see what there is to see out there too. So or at least the waterfront probably. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. In the meantime, pizza. What are we doing now? Oh, we're going, <laughs> we're going back to the Rad store. Why? Because Joel wants to get a new bike. <laughs> I have an addiction, guys. <laughs> I just, I found myself dreaming of the Rad Rover 6 Returning? step through. Yep. And I mean, I just had so much fun on that bike. I pay, I got a pretty good deal on this one though. So I think that if we sell this bike, you know, for, yeah, a decent amount under what we paid for it. Somebody gets a good deal and you know, we recoup some of the cost. I think it's a good idea. Would I have more fun on the Rad Rover? I think yes, and that is what life is about. And still a lot cheaper than another Jeep, that's for sure. I had a lot of fun test riding it. Every time I've test ridden that bike, I've really liked it. You know, we're going, we're just going for it. We'll go, and you know what? I think we'll just have them. We can have them put it together. We haven't put it together so that uh, it's all perfect because we still got to figure out how the heck we got to get it back to Redmond. So we'll see. We'll see. It's a, been a wild day, guys. It's a wild day. You never know what you're gonna, what's going to happen on the Cozy Living Machine show. Wild. <laughs> all righty. See these folks. No trash outside. Well, a few things covered. But... Oh, that's a good look in the car line. That's... Beauty, beauty. You know, it's hit or miss. I noticed uh, those, those RV, oh, that's very blue. That's interesting. Uh, those RVs have been here for a good while. And uh, I think they just don't offend anybody because they're quiet, they keep to themselves, they're clean. Nobody's upset about them, clearly, because they're still there. You know, I, I suspect that's not who folks have trouble with. There she is, guys. Look at her in all of her glory. She's gonna need a cool name, like Two Chains, or I guess that's already taken. <laughs> Shaquille Two Wheels. It's like Shaquille Two Wheels. <laughs> now we're leaving for good. <laughs> that's what I said last time, but you can believe me this time. <laughs> so it's gonna be sitting there waiting for a pickup, all paid for and all that good stuff. So it's ours. Now we just have to figure out how do we go get that and bring it back to Redmond. I'm not sure yet. Not sure, but it can hang out until we decide to pick it up, which is good. Uh, but of course, it is raining. <laughs> it just, it's just going to ruin our video. <laughs> so I don't know uh, how well the camera is going to do in, uh, in the rain. I think it's just going to look like, well, rained on crap. So. Let me uh, cut back in if it stops raining and there's something to look at. What fun though. <laughs>